There we go. That's easy. We've seen someone recently. Sometimes it's difficult to remember why we're here in the first place. <laughs> Good evening, sir. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. Do you need my help? Yes, please. Would you be kind enough to tell me what the time is? That's all you need to know. Well, is it not important to know? As important as where you are? Or who you are? I suppose you're right. And who are you then, sir? I am Agamemnon Baker. Like my brother, I think we need to leave this city immediately. And my brother and I rarely agree on anything. Okay. Do you know Aloysius Dawson? What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? You should ask that question to my brother instead. Personally, I've not seen Aloysius for many years. Oh, so your brother knows him, I guess. You're healthy, that's good. What are you doing here? Or, yeah, why haven't you left already? May I ask why you've not gone already, if you're so exasperated by this long wait? I believe fear is holding us back. My brother would have said it's laziness. But it's just because he's prouder than I am. Okay. What are you doing here? May I ask what you're doing outside at this hour of night? I don't know. You should ask my brother instead. It was his idea in the first place. You must have your own ideas. From what I have managed to understand, I guess we're supposed to wait here. Waiting for someone to come. Okay. Tell me about the neighborhood. What can you tell me about this part of town? It's the only place I've considered myself happy. Or at least that's what I believe. Unfortunately, it's time to leave. Why is that? Because I'm not feeling happy here anymore. Are you? No? No, I'm not. Good for you. It's a good thing to have a clear idea of where you stand concerning crucial questions. Don't you think? Huh. Tell me about your brother? What can you tell me about your brother? He's older than me, I think. But the important thing is that I really hope I'll die before him. Grief would just kill me, you know? Is that all? Pericles is very attached to this city, and without my insistence, he would never leave this place. We don't often agree on anything, you see? Hmm. You are interesting people. Who are you waiting for? Who are you waiting for, exactly? The more I think about it, the more I believe it's not exactly a person we are waiting for. But what else could it be, then? I don't know. A feeling? An event? An impulse? How can I tell? Something that would allow us to leave this trap. What kind of trap? I'm afraid I'm not following you. What kind of trap are you talking about? Have you ever felt like life trapped you in a role that does not fit you? That you're not in your place? That sort of trap. Interesting. And, uh, leaving London will free you? Trap? And you think leaving London will free you? At least it will give us the chance to be free. That's more than our present situation. Hope, Doctor. Hope is what truly drives mankind. Okay. We've got one hint. Let's talk to the brother. Goodbye for now, Mr. Baker. You can do it. I don't believe it's too much. I asked it for too much. Good evening, sir. There we go. To read. Can I be of assistance? Dr. Reed? Dr. Reed? Is there anything wrong? No, it's just... Your name sounds familiar. And your face. Have we met before? I think I would remember. So I suppose the answer is no. That's odd. I'm certain I've already heard of you. My name is Pericles Baker. Does that mean anything to you? I'm afraid not, sir. But it's a pleasure to meet you anyway. Hmm. The pleasure is mine, I guess. I only wish I could remember when it was that we met. Do you know Aloysius Dawson? What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? I've heard this is a man who has searched for his place in the world for a long time. I hope he found it. Huh. Okay, how are you doing? You're fine. 
What are you doing here? Tell me about yourself, Mr. Baker. What are you doing out here in the middle of the night? We are waiting. Waiting for someone. And why are you waiting for this person? Because we need to leave this city as soon as possible. Why do you want to leave the city? I'm not really sure. Okay. Tell me about the neighborhood. Can you tell me anything about this district? As you like asking questions so much, would you allow me to ask you one first? Please, be my guest. Do you like this city? I don't know. I don't know. I was born and raised in London. But I feel like a stranger here recently. You didn't answer my question, sir. But I don't blame you. Perhaps it's better that way. I'm, that was an answer. Just because it wasn't a yes or no doesn't make it a non-answer. What do you do for a living? And what do you do, sir? For a living, that is. I stopped working when I decided to leave. When I realized what I wanted. I wanted something this city can't provide. What was your job before that? But what were you doing before you took this decision? Does it really matter anymore? Considering the past seems so pointless to me. I have lived in this city all my life. And now I think it's over. Why do you want to leave London then? Tell me more about why you want to leave London then. I just don't belong here anymore. I had to convince my brother to leave London because I know we need to find another life out of the city. About your argument with your brother? Heracles, tell me why your brother disagrees with your presence here. Agamemnon is naive sometimes. Although don't consider him a fool, sir. He is often more lucid than me. You both can't explain why you're here. At least you both have the same difficulty explaining what you're doing and for what reason. But is that not a common problem for all mortals? Mortals? Tell me more about your brother? What can you tell me about your brother? If you are searching for a pleasant chat, you should speak with him instead of wasting your time with me. He has always been the more gentle of us. That's it? That's all you can tell me about him? For the time being, true kindness is the most valuable quality, my good sir. You guys are very strange. Who are you waiting for? Who are you waiting for? I'm sure he has a name. I really can't answer that question, since I don't know that person. And why is that? This person is mostly my brother's acquaintance. I don't even know his real name. Only that this man could help us leave this city once and for all. But why would you need this person's help to leave London anyway? Well, I thought we should have left this cursed place already, but my brother convinced me to stay a while longer, and here we are. So he thinks we're waiting for a person, but his brother said he doesn't think if they're waiting for a person. They're waiting for the motivation to leave. You guys don't make sense. Goodbye, Mr. Bacon. I believe I got more hints for you. Hello again, Dr. Reed. Hi. Nope. Huh. Okay. Goodbye for now, Mr. Baker. Let me check back with you one more time. Good evening, Mr. Baker. Hmm. Why do I always have feelings of deja vu when I talk to you? I don't know. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Baker. Who else have I missed? Ooh, trash can. Now these guys, as I understand, get up and move. Oh, another hideout? I'll take that. Nothing for me to take? Out oh, another direction. Okay, I don't want to be here. There's a bed. Some supplies. Workbench. 
That's it. Um, didn't we have someone had fatigue and a headache? I have headache medicine. Might as well make that. Okay, I don't want to get myself lost, so let's go back this way. They still over here? Yep, they haven't moved. And I bet you they go in here because it's locked. I hear you, rats. Oh, there you are. This is despicable. There's a scowl I completely missed just sitting there. I can't believe I'm doing this. I wonder if. Does the cop go anywhere? The investigator, he's not a cop. He's still there. Oh, you have fatigue. Let's heal you. Dr. Reed, still conducting your nocturnal survey? Mm-hmm. I have Do something you for you. medical attention, Inspector? I'm afraid I may have caught something. I don't feel too well. Well, here you go. You'll quickly feel better after taking this. Thank you, Dr. Reed. I really appreciate it. I didn't get any new stuff for you, did I? What are you investigating? Oh. I have a missing woman. Tell me. She's a... Do you know? Yep, 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 yep. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. Oh, did they? Nope, they're still there. <laughs> are you going to get up? Nope. Yes. No. Maybe. No. Yes. <gasps> yes! A sure tall tree. Come this way! Come this way. How do I spy on you? Do I just stand at the gate? Oh, I literally just stand here. Okay. We should be far from town already. All right, but where would we go? Anywhere, anywhere that isn't here. And what is that, by the way? A safer place? A less strange place? And where would that be? Life is strange, and we are alive. For now, yes, but for how long? If we decided to flee, we should be far from town already. What? All right. But where would we go? You guys are so strange. Agamemnon and Hercules have opposing explanations about their current situation. Yes, they do. They want to leave the city because they feel something is strange about the situation. Agamemnon and Hercules are waiting for something or someone. So they're waiting. They have conflicting explanations. They feel something strange is going on. And this was Agamemnon. Where's, where's per, per clues? Waiting for something. Okay, same thing. Come on out. I have questions for you. You first. Or not. Good evening, Mr. Baker. Hmm. Why do I always have feelings of deja vu when I talk to you? You have strange feelings towards the city? Tell me more about your strange feelings towards the city. I would be happy to describe them, but it's too hard to explain with mere words what I'm feeling. It's unclear, too confused. Go on, please. Where should I start? The world is chaos. Men go mad and nature itself runs roughshod over us all. This is not the first time mankind has faced a deadly epidemic. 
or a war. Men kill each other while nature decides to kill them all. I don't know what scares me the most. Do you? Hmm. Man. Plagues and epidemics can be seen as an implacable force, a curse even. But the ferocity of mankind worries me more, for we choose what we do. Yes, at least nature is not aware of all the suffering she brings to us. At least that's what I am hoping. How long have you been waiting? How long have you been waiting for this man? Sometimes I feel as though I've been waiting for him for ages. Perhaps it is my role in life to wait for him. Not a pleasant thought. It could be dangerous for you. Waiting here all night. That's quite true. But what other choice do we have? We are waiting here until we finally go. <laughs> You're strange. Mr. Baker, I have met many strange people during my life. But you are definitely one of the strangest. Really? I don't feel particularly odd or weird. All I want to do is leave. What's wrong with that? Why are you still waiting? Why are you still waiting for this person? What would be the point of going before meeting the man, as he's going to help us leave? You don't even know who you're waiting for! What are you going to do now? Pericles, what are you going to do now? I don't know. Perhaps it's time to leave. Perhaps we should stay a little longer. How can I tell? And where exactly are you thinking of going? In a place where I will finally have that feeling. To be where I belong. The world has to be meaningless chaos to make such a heaven plausible. Maybe you're waiting for yourself to decide when to go. Goodbye, Mr. Baker. Let's go check with your brother. They will not be forgotten. Oh, you come and sit for a minute. I have questions for you. Hello again, Dr. Reed. How long have you been waiting? Tell me. How long have you been waiting here? I can't say for sure, since I have no watch. But the night is still young, and I am not tired. Is that the most honest answer you can give me? Yes, I think so. Why does it irritate you, sir? Is comprehension really that important to you? I try my best to understand things. I'm a scientist. I try my best to understand things. I know the world has to obey unbreakable rules. You know? or you want the world to obey such rules. I don't understand who you are. I know one thing. I do not understand who you are. And it's better that way. What kind of life would we live if we could summarize a person in a few words or a few lines? What are you afraid of? What are you really afraid of, Agamemnon? The problem is, it's precisely what I don't know that frightens me. So I suppose I can't really answer your question. Hmm. Where do you intend to go? If you finally manage to leave London, where do you intend to go? A happy place, that's for sure. A place where I can smile because I know the next day will be better than the previous one. Such a place doesn't exist. There are never any guarantees that tomorrow will be a better day. That would mean I have no hope left. And I just can't accept such a conclusion. Huh. Okay. Goodbye for now, Mr. Baker. They are a complete mystery? That's the last hint? Oh, goodness. Alright. Whatever. There's, there is actually a lot of people that I am tempted to eat in this area. I, I gotta solve something between these two. Um, I know I'm gonna eat one of these people. And you guys are tempting just because you're so weird. But I also gotta keep an eye on this. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Let's get more rats. Come here. This is despicable. I know, Jonathan. Here we go. I can't believe I'm doing this. You're fine. Okay, we'll take the trash can. Uh, 
Okay, so I think we were down here. Yes, okay, we, we came full circle, yay. All right, yeah, I can't make sense of this map, but it looks like our hideout goes out through this way. Oh, so Loisius Mansion must be around here? Enter his mansion. How and in what way? I haven't finished asking everyone about him, I guess. Is this his mansion? I don't know. I mean, I think it's over here. But since I haven't asked everybody, let's go through the hideout. Oh, I can... Did you, like, respawn more rats? This is despicable. Let's go ahead and go through this hideout. Because it does bring us to another part of town. And there's more citizens to talk to. And apparently more scowls. Oh! Great. Just knock him down, Reed. Get him! There we go! Did not want to waste my powers on him. Even though that would have been a smoother fight. Ah! Oh, what? Where? Where? Is this his mansion? What am I looking at right now? Oh, that is his mansion. Hello. That makes more sense. We're not going to go in there. Not just yet. What's this? Okay, a gate we can't get through. That's fine. We came up the stairs. Hold on, I'm trying to get my bearings here. I just got myself confused. Oh. Okay, all right. Mm. Okay, I'll make sense of it. This way. Took care of you. We heard a scowl at one point. I thought for certain, whoa. No, you're not. Nope. I will end you. There we go. So I think we were down there, and then we came around, and this is an up. Okay. Where, where am I going right now? Whitechapel. I unlocked the door. Alright, fine. I'll take care of you. There's two of you. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There we go. I will take the experience and the supplies. All right. Ooh. Ring. Have I not been here? I guess I've had no reason to be back this way. Huh, interesting. Keep out. Oh, there's a there's a gate. Okay, so I haven't been back this way. Where do those stairs go? 
What is... Oh, that's a scowl. Is that the swan's bro? Okay, cool. She didn't leave me anything. That makes me sad. back. Is this a gate that opens? No. So, hold on. Alright, I thought I saw something glowing behind it, but nope. Getting some, there we go. Frame rate drops here. Come on, game. You got this. That looks like his home. I'm gonna explore it first. Can't go back that way. Hmm. But we're still missing two citizens. And they definitely don't live here. So, where are they? Are they back this way? these they are okay so this is this is where the inspector hangs out there was a store and I walked right past it it's back down here is this where we this is where we came out of the sewers huh yep I just didn't turn my butt around good evening miss price how are you tonight? Dr. Reed, I didn't know you had returned from the war. I had a new doctor when you left, but he's not as kind as you. Always glad to see a former patient in good condition. It's been a long time. Too long indeed. And as a token of my appreciation, I'll grant you the best price if you fancy buying anything from my humble shop. Hmm. Do you know Aloysius Dawson? Do you know Aloysius Dawson? Everybody knows him. He's only been to my shop once, though, looking for rare books and other intriguing antiques. Did he buy something from you? No, he left quickly. He almost laughed at my goods. Mr. Dawson may be a rich man, but you can't buy good manners. But isn't Aloysius Dawson known for his philanthropy? That was before his brother Robert died in an aeroplane crash. Since then, the remaining twin has turned into a heartless tycoon. Hmm, I imagine that's gotta be hard. Of course you have fatigue. Tell me about your occupation. What can you tell me about yourself, Miss Price? I'm still managing my shop. The only difference is, since the quarantine, we're open at night. You, on the contrary, seem to have changed a lot. Have I changed that much? Really? Have I changed that much? It must have been the war and the night shifts since my return. Don't get me wrong, Dr. Reed, you're still handsome. Just maybe a little bit wiser, more serious. It suits you well. Hmm. Tell me more about yourself? Tell me more about yourself. No new fiancé? I remember you were hoping to get remarried. 
I'm sure you must have a few suitors. Who would marry an old bat like myself with a grown daughter and a little business? As you know, I only fancy handsome men like yourself. This is creepy. I'm just saying. This is a little creepy to me. Tell me about the neighborhood. Have you noticed anything in particular in this part of town recently? Other than you coming back to cheer me up? Nothing at all, Dr. Reed. I mean, she's definitely... That's a thing for you. How's your daughter doing? Does your daughter still worry you, Miss Price? I remember you were often concerned about her health when she was younger. Have you not seen Carol since you returned? She's almost a young woman now. But she'll always remain my sweet little baby. So you're less afraid? Some things never change. Carol is still too clumsy for her own good. Sometimes her innocence puts her in real danger. What does that mean? Why would her innocence put her in danger? She does not realize how cruel life can be. Maybe I was a bad mother to protect her too much. My poor dear Carol. Well, it's good to be cautious. You have every reason to be cautious, Miss Price. Especially in these difficult times. Maybe you could talk with her, Dr. Reed. It would be nice to have a man here more often. We would both feel safer. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. Let's see what we got. May I look at your goods, Miss Price? It's always a pleasure to have you here, Dr. Reed. Take all the time you need. Do you have anything I want? Not really. I'm gonna sell you stuff. Okay. Dr. Reed, I am glad to see you again. I'm gonna loot your shop, apparently. You don't need those. That's just junk, right? Some of that was money. And I can't go down there. Her daughter is usually downstairs and then she comes upstairs sometimes. I'd like to talk to her and see if she has any diseases. Is she gonna come out? Oh. Oh wait. She's, okay. Oh wait, was this the sewer? This was the sewer, okay. So, she did come up. There you are. Can I talk to you? Good morning. Okay. Uh, good evening, sir. It's okay. It's alright. Happens all the time. Good evening, Miss Price. I'm Dr. Reed. Do you remember me? Dr. Reed? Yes, of course. You are the doctor who healed me and my mum. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Good to see you too, Carol. Are you alright? Oh, yes. I, I did not hurt myself recently. I know how to take care of myself now. I'm almost a grown-up. Do you know Aloysius Dawson? Have you ever met the famous Aloysius Dawson? Yes. A very strange man. Not very nice. What do you mean? He said he was ready to pay good money for rare books. And then laughed at what we showed him. And you have fatigue. You both have fatigue. Do you stay awake at night? Why are you awake at night, Carol? I am helping my mother in her shop. It's not easy, but I'm a grown-up now. Almost. Mother must be proud. I'm sure your mother is grateful for your help. I do the best I can. But I'm so clumsy sometimes. I, I, I drop things. I injure myself. It's a, it's a good thing my mother has the patience of an angel. Hmm. I don't like this. Why is work not easy? Is something or someone bothering you? Oh no, most people are gentle with me. But but I'm so nervous sometimes. I, I pay no attention and hurt myself. Good thing my mum learned first aid. Okay, I don't understand being nervous. How do you accidentally hurt yourself over and over again? Tell me about the neighborhood. What can you tell me of the people living nearby? I don't speak to many people, except our customers. It's not easy to make friends. And with the epidemic, it's even more difficult. Tell me about it. What can you tell me about the epidemic? Some of our regular customers have left London. Some others only send their housemaids now. 
Everybody fears the contagion. I've even seen men with weapons. Hmm. Do you have no friends at all? Have you no friends at all? No. Mr. Nithicut used to pass by and was always nice to me. Does he not come by anymore? No. Mum said he was weird. Always reciting poetry about a girl he'd met in Whitechapel. I wonder who this Camellia may be. Hmm. I was I was a little worried about Richard Nethercott there for a moment. Um, do you enjoy working with your mother? Do you enjoy working with your mother? Oh yes, Doctor. My mother raised me alone after my father died. We've always lived together, and she has always watched over me. Do you remember your father? Do you remember your father? No, I was just a baby then. My mother always told me how strong and good he was. Do you think about getting married? Do you ever think about getting married now you're a woman? Oh no, Dr. Reed. Mum always says I'm still a child who has no idea how tough life can be. No husband would like a clumsy girl like me. I don't know that. Goodbye, Carol. Something... Good morning. Something seems very oh, odd morning, here. Sir. Let me go back to the hideout and make up some... Some medicine here. 